No days off, even here from Franklin, Tennessee, where it's cold and it is snowing. Kyle Shanahan's gonna have a press conference in a little bit. I'll update you about that from inside after the conference call in about an hour and a half. But here on December 26th, day after Christmas, I wanted to talk about one of the 49ers unheralded performers this year that just because he plays an offensive line is never gonna get the love that I think that he deserves, but he's been a huge part of the, this team's success. And that's the center, Jake Brendel. Remember over the off season, there was talk that Alex Mack might retire and people were freaking out, especially when Alex Mack did retire, that the 49ers weren't doing enough at the center position. And everybody said, draft this guy, sign a free agent, do this. JC Treader, even though he may not want to play anymore, can make sure he comes on board. And, you know, Shanahan and Lynch were taking a lot of heat for not addressing the center position via free agency or the draft in the off season. Well, they listened to their position coaches, the Chris Furster especially, about Jake Brendel, who had already been on this team as a reserve center, had an excellent training camp in 2021 when Mac was the starter. And the 49ers Brain Trust listened to their assistant coaches who said, this guy, Jake Brendel, can get the job done. This guy, I mean, coming out of UCLA in 2016, Jake Brendel had elite athleticism scores, but he was a little light, right? He was 285 pounds or so. But he ran faster and moved quicker than almost any other offensive lineman coming out of the draft. And Chris Furster got to work with him initially in Miami. And Furster said, you know, this guy is perfect for our outside zone blocking scheme because he could move with the best of them. And he's gained weight since those combine days. He weighs 300 pounds now. He could also anchor and pass protection. And so Brendel just never had a, had a shot to start because he was such a developmental prospect and that he had to get the weight up to be able to anchor and pass protection while also being able to continue moving well uh, like he did with the lighter weight over the years. So he never had a chance to start until the 49ers decided to give him a chance to start here in 2022. And over the course of this whole season, Jake Brendel ranks number four amongst qualifying centers in pass blocking efficiency. That's the amount of uh, sacks and pressures and everything that he's given up. And he ranks number 17 in run block grade, but he's improved in run block grade to the point where when Christian McCaffrey took over in week eight, right, for the 49ers, since then, Jake Brendel ranks number eight in PFF's run block grade. So in, in essence, the 49ers have the number four pass blocking center and a number eight run blocking center. And those are better marks than Alex Mack put up last year. And it's because they've believed in Jake Brendel. So when you're talking about all the 49ers stars and great players, don't forget the guys that are a little less heralded, like Jake Brendel in a center position that's so important to this offense. You know, calling out run. Uh, call, you're, you're looking at the defense and you're identifying stuff as you get into that crouch. You're calling out safety rotations and uh, it, you're assigning stuff for the other offensive line as far as blocking the outside zone goes. Jake Brendel has handled all that seamlessly and he grades in the top 10 in both pass and run blocking. And here's the snow at the farm in Franklin. It's cold out here, so I better head back inside.